let me just tell you this. I have a lot of black belts. I got I have 40 years of martial arts training. And I in law enforcement situations and combat situations, I learned that most of it was crap. All right. You know, you're not gonna be doing spinning back yeah. kicks, you're not gonna be doing jump flying kicks and karate punches and all that in a real life situation. In a real life situation, people don't leave their punches out for you to block their arm and all that kind of crap. So it's not going to happen. So I've tried all those cool things I learned in the martial arts in the street. And I quickly learned that either I was going to get my ass whooped and I'm going to talk about, you know, I've had my ass whooped plenty of times. I'll talk about how that happened in some, later on. You know, I, so I had to learn to define the things that were really going to work. When, when you look at special agent combatives and things like that I've done for TRS, they are basic moves because when it came down to it, basic moves are what worked. When I tried to do a jump side kick, somebody would take me and slam me to the ground. I took a spinning back kick, somebody hit me in the back of the head. In real life situations, I had to be quick, I had to be efficient, and it was basic stuff that worked. A quick, a quick front kick to the groin or to the knee, you know, because everybody protect their groin. A quick smack to the face, you know, a bronchial, a brachial stun to the neck or whatever. It was what worked. Most of the techniques I learned in hap keto and jujitsu, all the holds and all that, didn't work against drunk people. Didn't work when I was undercover against people who wanted to fight you. Sometimes it wouldn't even work against a woman. I would take a woman and they'd be so into it or drugged up or whatever that I could not take them down. So I had to learn to get rid of all the crap techniques that I learned. I won't say it's crap. Sport martial arts and all that is great. And it's better than not taking anything at all. But it didn't work in real life. And that's what I'm going to tell you. Now, let me tell you the best arts I found that did work in real life. And even that's kind of biased. When I got into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu... I learned to fight on the ground, and that was a big thing. And the other thing was learning the Filipino martial arts. I learned to fight with elbows and knees and head butts and all that. That was helpful in a real situation. So that's what I went with, kneeing someone, taking them to the ground. But even with Brazilian jiu-jitsu, it was limited because I had a gun on. I had a knife on. I had other gear on. I didn't want to go to the ground, and I have to take one hand to hold my gear, if not both hands, while the guy's welding on me. So all these guys say Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, it is great, and it helped me a lot, but it's not the end-all, be-all when you have weapons, you know? And when, um, and when you, and by the way, he can attest to this. Most of the time when I was in a fight, there's going to be three guys hitting you in the back of the head, somebody over here kicking you, you know, and other people are going to be involved in that fight. So I had to learn things that were quick, devastating, and was going to end the fight in just seconds. You know, one time in Chicago, I'm going to tell you, I got jumped by three guys. And I'm luckily his brother got me out of this, but these three guys came up to, we had fought them several times. And when I, they had me surrounded, you know, just before I knew martial arts and all that kind of stuff. So every time I threw a punch at one guy, two guys would hit me. I turned to punch another guy, two guys would hit me. You know, I, I finally, I picked up a bottle and started trying to go at the bottle. What saved me was his brother, my brother and a couple other guys came around the corner and saw what was happening and they, and they jumped in, you know, and was able to save me. So back then, I didn't know better. I, I'm trying to use my old karate I learned in school, and that didn't help me at all. Now, let me, flat, let me fast forward to when I was an undercover agent one time, and I fought three guys. And I'm undercover. I have a gun in small on my back, but I didn't have time to get to it. One guy actually had a samurai sword, you know, and two of his other buddies, this is doing a drug deal. And his buddies weren't supposed to be there. But the two guys and him came after me. Now I had a baton and what, I, what happened is I was able to bring out my baton and use some of the techniques I learned from Filipino martial arts to hold these guys off until my guys were able to come in. So, you know, I kick one guy, push him back on the couch. I'm using my baton to fight these other guys and I'm keeping spacing. I'm keeping them in front of me because that was the only way I was going to be, defeat three guys. Plus I had the weapon and had it gone much longer, I wouldn't be able to defeat them. So luckily, my, the other officers, they, we were wires. They could hear me talking. They come through the door, and they take these guys down. You know? So those are the kind of situations where I would have multiple attackers and, and were able to fight these guys and use some of the techniques I talk about for multiple attackers. Here are all these things about keeping them in front. And, you know, and that's what I was using, using um, distance and keeping them in, tripping over each other while I'm welding them, these guys with a baton. Without the baton, I wouldn't have won either. I wouldn't be able to defend myself. Weapon is a nice equalizer. That's why I say a Filipino martial I learned how to use a knife. I learned how to use a stick, a gun. So that's reality. Reality is not the karate fights you see on TV. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. 
hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.